Hello, folks, the old fisherman. Back with you once again. Oh, Lake Monticello. We are loving life again. It's on a Saturday morning. We're gonna try to catch a crap here. It's kind of a overcast. They ain't really done nothing yet. I dropped my other spot and ain't done no good. Had to move. We'll keep pounding, see if we can find one. On Lake Monticello, we got some minnows this morning. We're gonna put us a couple minnow rods out just to see if we can get a bite. Who knows? We might, we might not. We're gonna try minnows though. See if we can catch some of these no biting crappers. I'd prefer it to be sunshiny, to be honest with you. Sunshiny seems like the bite better. Uh, on these brush. Got the old king pod here that I put out. And uh I didn't put it out. Mr. Pope put it out for me. And I put it on the spot I wanted it. I had an old place here I used to catch fish. But since we put the king pot out, we ain't caught a lot. <laughs> I think we might have messed up my hole with that king pot. I think this lake, they don't like a lot of standing up high stuff in the, in the fall. They like it laying down, something flat on the bottom. Got a little moving around here. But something on the bottom is what I think they like. But uh, hey, we're gonna pull up here and see if we can catch us a doggone crappy. Oh, Lake Monticello. Loving life. All right. Pull up a little bit, went quiet on the spot. Got to get up a little bit. You got to put it right on them. These crappers won't bite unless you put it right on the face. You can be off two foot and they won't bite sometimes. You got to put it on his nose. If you want to catch them, you better put it on his nose. Uh, I seen a few fish, I think. Put in that it's hard to set. With that thing standing up, it's hard to tell if you got the fish on it. If you got something flat, you can see the fish above it. But on this, this, this thing stands straight up, and it makes it very difficult to know if uh, if it's fish or not. Now I was seeing something. Now I ain't seeing it, so that might have been fish that I was seeing. Got to ease around out here. We get on the spot. You ain't on the spot. You ain't gonna catch them. I threw the buoy out on what I thought was the spot. The way I used to mark it with one of these floating buoys that I had out here, and, and uh, it blew it away with the storm, so I don't have that uh, old-timey spot marked like I used to. <clears throat> That's where GPS would be, make it right and mighty nice, but we don't have GPS. One day I might get fancy. We basically just got the old daggone uh, in-between-the-eyes brain that marks my spot, and that's the way I've always done it. I picked uh, two different angles and I pulled on, oh, that's a bite. Something bumped it. Unless that, it might be running up on that daggone pile of kings. Probably probably rubbing against the kings, what I'm thinking happening right there. Probably rubbing against the kings. It was rubbing against something, so I'm, I'm figuring it was that king pie. That's what it was. something messing with it right now. Let's see what we got. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we had something. That was a crap. Jokers don't want to take it. Sitting there nibbling on it. Took my money, they took that. But I missed it. I stuck him a little bit, and he got off. Tore him my life. Definitely a bite. One time you're fishing on them, they'll grab that thing and come up with it. That's what that one did. <clears throat> drop it back down. We got we got brush up there at 26 foot. We're gonna drop it down about four or five times. See what happens. I don't think this is deep enough. Let's redo this one. Let's redo this one. I don't think it's deep enough. Still got a minnow on there. Ain't doing much swimming though. Go 
it four times, see what happens. Lay it down. Get our little crappy jig, start wiggling around, see if we can catch one like that. So we got three options out there. Opportunities, two metals and a jig. Then we catch one on either one of them. I got a feeling it's gonna be a tough day fishing. I do not like cloudy weather in Lake Monticello. Deep water fishing, you need sunshine. Always have. If you're gonna fish the bank, shallow, and cloud is better. But the kind of fishing I do over here, deep water, cloud is not good. And then on top of that, we had high water this morning. But not good. Apparently, I got to, when I get a bite, I got to let them really take it. It pays to have a soft tip rod. These rods are a little bit stiff, but these for uh, crappy really you need a little tiny rod on the end. I didn't bring my tiny crappy rod with me. I thought I should have. We might not catch fish. I'm telling you right now. I do not like the way it feels today. It's gonna be a hard day to do a video. Had a couple bites, no, 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 uh, no hookups. There's a bite on that one already. Oh, what that is? I believe the crappy. He's biting it right now. He's sitting there nibbling on my dirty gone mama. Don't want it. Now he's, let's see if we got it this time. Look at that. What I'm talking about? You see that? A no bite sucker. And you know they're crappies. Look at that. They're crappies. Don't want to bite. They ain't that big, but they don't want to bite. They crap it. We finally got one. We finally got one. We didn't get nothing. Finally caught one. Called going rascal. They're gonna take a jig. 24 foot is the crappies. Where they at? I see them. They lay it right on that cane pot. They lay it right on that cane pot. Got this jig back down again, so we ain't gonna nothing. They down there. They ain't want to bite. They ain't want to bite. That's the high point way out here. I was in a little too far. All right, we'll probably get a bite out here. You gotta get just right on them now. Just right. Not close, just right. Right there's where the fish are, right there. You gotta hold this one. You got a brush right there. That's a fish. Ain't no brush. That's a fish. I tell you, fish is out a little bit. Had to move a little bit. We got it. We got it. Ain't no big one. Hey, the hand size crap is a good eating size. He had two minnows in it. That joker, I missed this one a couple times. We're missing that time though. Right. We got to get just right with these fish. Right there. We own them now. I wasn't on them there for a while, but I'm on them now. I'm seeing more fish now. 24 foot layer fish. Layer fish. Come on, boy. It might be coming in. I'm getting a bite on this one. 
Hey, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now it's starting to bite. I moved a little bit and got on it. What we're doing. Hey, we just got on it. Nice crack. Nice crack. Come in here, boy. He ain't no whopper, but he's a pounder. He's a pounder. And you've got to love a pounder, the old fisherman loves pounders. What? We might be getting on something now. Huh? We might be getting on something now. Look at him. Look what the old fisherman just caught. About a pound. You got to love that. Look at that. About a pound. Hey, pick it up. Pick it up. Hey. Now we know we can catch them on these metals. We stick with it. Get the right spot. That's all I need to know. Got him that time, by golly. That's a good one, too. Hey, that's a good one. What? Oh, my. That's a super dog slab right there. Y'all see him? Look at him with a slab. That's what we're looking for right there. That's what's out there. I know they out there. Look at that. Look what I'm talking about. That's the kind of crappy we're looking for. A super dog slab. You got to love it. The old fisherman pestered him enough. I can't even get my hands on it. I pestered him enough to he took that doggone metal. It takes patience and and you got to have the desire to win to catch these doggone crap. Look at him. Look at the size of that sucker. You tell me that. See we catching nothing folks. Hey, that was a good one there. Look at the slat size of that crappy I just caught again. One more time. Two pounder. Two pounder. See that? A nice. Let me get another one. Get back up here in my catfish chair. See if we can't get another one. Man of fishing. Slow, slow man of fishing. But hey, we caught a big one. We finally caught a big one. It's almost impossible to even try to catch a fish. We we caught we've caught three now and I've missed that many of both. Brush. That's a brush. 
That's the cane pod. Pull it up a little bit. We set in the right spot. We set right on it. Just a matter of fish swimming by it and taking that minnow. What it's a matter of. Look at that. Look at that. What I'm talking about, just got to they take your time with these suckers to catch them. Uh, take your time. Old fat crappy too, buddy. Hey, they like the bigger metal too. Bigger metal. What he hit, the bigger metal. Bigger metal. He nailed it. So they come out, they might go to bite him. What I'm thinking. Folks, we pulled over to a place over here and uh, I throwed out a bumping plug on a brush, an old brush I had. I got a metal and a bumping plug. And I'm gonna show you what I just caught. Uh, look what I just caught on the bumping plug. On the doggone Todd Smith bumping plug. I can get the thing untangled here. Got a knot in it. Bear with me. Look at this thing. See that? Ty Smith, fan of mine, makes his own jigs. He's got a beautiful bumping plug, and I just caught two crappies. I must have knocked my dog on. Uh, while I was messing around, I knocked my dog on a spot lock off, and I done drifted back 150 yards. I got to get back up and look. We had a minnow out, couldn't catch nothing. Caught two on the bumping on the phone, on this old brush. I see crappies down there, but they ain't touching the metal over here. They're hitting a bigger, the bumping's a lot bigger than the metal I'm using, so maybe they want a bigger metal. We're gonna pull back up here, and I got it marked with my buoy. We gonna pull back up here with just that bumping spoon. And uh, what you do with a bumping spoon is, you, I, I got a little swivel above it, is you just twitch it real softly for a crappy. Crappy want it soft. They don't want a long, hard jerk. They just want a twitch off the bottom. So I'm gonna try to show you how you catch one. Get back up here and put the spot lock back on. on. I knocked it off accidentally. Uh, we're gonna get right back up here and we're gonna drop this bumper spoon back down here. It's an old cedar bush that I had out here years ago. Uh, another one of my old spots and I pull up here and all I'm doing is pulling it up about a foot, two off the bottom and switching. So I don't know if we got to recollect itself or what. Try to get back up here on this spot. And I caught two off this spot with the bump is from. Day if nothing hit it. Had a nut hit it. Had a nut hit it. Uh oh, we got the brush that time. What I'm gonna do? Show the world. Is that what I'm gonna do? I'm 
mess around and lose my spoon. What I'm gonna do? I got a fish on there. I got a fish that went around that brush. fish. I thought I had the brush, but I got a big old fish. Oh my goodness. I must have a big old catfish. Oh Lord. What? Ali, I done hung in on a big old catfish on this phone. I thought I had the brush. He's so big. Oh my goodness, people. We got a big one. We got a big one. We got a monster. We got a monster catfish. He's like he ain't even hooked unless I got him snagged. He's swimming around like he ain't even hooked. Oh my goodness. I thought I had the brush. I'm trying to snatch it out and the whole time I got a big fish. I got a super dog, Monticella catfish. As I speak, in the belly or something. He just swimming around. Hey, he don't even know he's hooked. He don't even know he's hooked, people. Look at that rod. This is a monocella monster unless I got him in the belly. I don't want to got But I can tell you this, the biggest, son, the biggest fish I had on in a mini day. That joke ain't even, he just swimming. He just swimming. What? He just swimming. Look at that. It's like I got a, a hundred pound catfish or something. I think I got something hooked in the belly. I can't even get him off the bottom. We got eight pound test line. And I can't even get, look how it going. Look how it going. What? Look how it going. Oh my. Old fisherman got him a monster. Unless I got him snagged, we done got a money sell a monster. Good ray, dirty. I don't know what I got. I got a fish in the belly is what I got. I believe. I got a fish in the belly. What I got. It don't even want to, he don't even know he's hooked. I don't want to got. I like to see him though. He's wearing me out. He ain't pulling, he's just like dead weight swimming around. Like dead weight. I don't see any bubbles. Oh my gosh. Whoo, son. Got to be one snag hook. Got to be. Unless he's so darn big he can't even he can't even jerk. There's bubbles. Oh, we got a we got a big old catfish snagged in the back. That's what we got. We got a big old blue hooked in the back. And I can't get him. We got him. Big old blue hooked in the back. Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> I thought if I didn't have him hooting in the back, I had the biggest catfish in Lake Monticello. Oh my goodness. Snag hook in the back with a treble hook. Around that brush he was laying. He didn't even hit it. I just run the hook over it. A little tiny hook too now, what I mean. Look at that. <laughs> he got slime all over me. What? Hey, day! Couldn't figure out what in the world I had pulling. Now, as always, that doggone net I got messed all up my hook. Hey, day! 
Y'all see it? I'm going to throw that joker back. I don't need that catfish. But I want to show him to you. Hey, he's a jumbo magnum. It's probably about eight pounds or so. He's a good eight pound. See him? He's a nice one. You got to love that hooked in the belly. And we're going to release this catfish. I don't want him. So let him go. My goodness, what a pool. What? My goodness.